Hey, I'm Lina from Eptech Tutorials, and I'm here to teach you how to use the Microbit Classroom. If you are interested in learning how to use the Microbit Classroom, please stick around. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and leave your comments below. We want to know what you want to learn so that we can teach it to you. When clicking on the link that I provided on the description below, you are going to see the following. This is where you're going to land. You can, you are welcome to check this out, but I'm basically going to walk you through all of that. And here you, is where you're going to name your project. We're going to call it the uh, sound of music for now. And then you have to decide what language you want your students to code in. I'm going to go ahead and we'll go with the make code. Make code is just the blocks version of coding. And uh, I feel that's easier for beginners. And then there's a Python. Then you have to select your storage. For the storage, I highly recommend you, lose, you use their temporary local storage as it will save any temporary data you have. But the caveat of it is that you need to make sure you log in with your own personal login on the computer you're using. So let's go ahead and launch your classroom. Now you're going to land on this page that basically walks you through what every single of these additional tabs are. So those links up there, it's just going to, if you click on this, it will show you what those are. It's pointing to what it's describing here. So you can ignore this. I mean, unless you want to read it, but I'm going to walk you through exactly all that right now. Go to the editor and in here is where you put the code you want your students to learn. So one way of doing it is to go ahead and provide all the blocks you want them to have. So let's say I want them to use the on button A and then I want them to play a melody. And I also want them to use like the LEDs and some of this stuff. So you can go ahead and pull all the, all the blocks that you think you want them to use and kind of also give them a little instruction here. So if you right click on the screen, you can add a comment and tell them, please use the blocks provided to create your own music. Use when button da, 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 da. so you can just go ahead and write them here their instructions if that's what you want to do or you can welcome to email them separately or provide them whatever it is like a google link or something with instructions and then very important don't forget to click this button here when you're done creating the editor section put the chair with students here and then click on done now your code will be available to share with your students next go ahead and go to this dashboard and on this dashboard what you're going to see is the link and this is for your students you will be providing this for your students so that they can go ahead and log in so they will be using this microbit.org backslash join as their lo as their URL to go to. So make sure you give them that. And if you click on it, you can go ahead and copy it and then put it on, on a Word document or something that you share with them. Or you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this. And this second portion here is the login security. For, their, for security purpose, they ask you for a color, an animal, a transportation, and uh, an item and then they give you the pin so they'll have to do like a two-factor authentication which is the the items up here plus the pin and in another video I'll show you guys what your students will see okay so now I'm gonna go to my temporary classroom that I have so you guys can see what it looks like so here is again the dashboard and I've created this on the side here is the password and things that I've emailed the students and here are the students. On the bottom, it'll show you how many students are actually 
joined the class. So it says four and you'll see them in green, the students that have joined the class. And then you have the students that are offline. So if they're offline and they have to be online, go ahead and let them know that they need to log in and provide them with this information here. When you click on each student, it will basically take you to the student code here. And in the student code section, you're able to see everything the students have in their in their editor. And this is updated live. So if your student, let's say we're going to do right here, let me try to put them side by side so you can see. I believe this might be Alex. I think this is Alex that I have logged in here. Let's say your student moves this in here. It will update automatically on this side to show you the update. And they put that in there. So now they do like a little thing where they put there. So you can see their update live and that's per student. So every, that's how you will see the progress that your st student is doing. And if they have questions, they are welcome to go ahead and ask you questions. Then finally, we have the save a classroom tab here. It is very important that you save the classroom because if you are going to come back to it in the future, you want to be able to save everything everybody had saved. Do here and it'll download it as an HTML file. And to open it, it will be very easy just to double click on it. So then go ahead and end the session. And take a little bit to end the session, but it's going to end it. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to end this session? Kind of like another warning besides this one. You've ended the session now and you've started a new. It'll bring you back to this page when you end the session. So now you have learned how to make a micro bit classroom. And in the next videos, I am going to show you how your students are going to see their side of microbit. I'm also going to show you guys kind of tips and tricks here and there. And I have a few other videos planned out for you guys so you can learn how to use this properly. And if you have questions, comments, concerns, let us know because we're here to help you guys. And I always don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel and let us know what you need from us.